In this video, you will learn about the universal haptic layer, the files contained within this SDK, and where to download it. There are three immersion developer technologies used to manage haptic effects. They are the Universal Haptic Layer, or UHL, Haptic Studio, and Haptic Studio Bridge. The Haptic SDK consists of three files. The UHL.jar file is the Java library containing the UHL implementation. This includes the APIs to manage haptic effects and more than 100 pre-built haptic effects that you can use in your Android applications. The UHLDoc.zip file provides context-sensitive help for UHL classes in Eclipse. This documentation is in Javadoc format. The libimmemulatorj.so file is a native library containing the emulator implementation. The emulator allows you to deploy haptic effects universally on all Android devices. You will learn more about the Immersion Emulator in the next video. Haptic Studio and Haptic Studio Bridge work together to allow you to create and test custom haptic effects respectively. You will learn more about creating your own custom haptic effects in later videos. Now I will show you where to download the UHL package. In my browser, I am at the Immersion Developer Zone, developer.immersion.com. From here, I am clicking on the link for Android developers. Within the Haptic Development Platform for Android page, I am selecting the SDK tab in the navigation. To download the Universal Haptic Layer SDK, I am clicking on the Toolkit link. From the License Agreement page, I can review the Software End User License Agreement. I am entering my name and email address and selecting the checkbox to agree to the terms listed above. I am clicking the Download button. From the Thank You page, I can see that a download link has been sent to my email address. I am opening the email from Immersion and clicking on the link to download the Haptic Development Platform. From the Download dialog in my browser, I am clicking Save to save the file to my computer. I have unzipped the file, and you can see that it contains the libimmemulatorj.so file, the uhl.jar file, and the uhldoc.zip file. You will use these files in your Eclipse project in the next video.